Hi there, Amanda Marquardt here from Team Posh Badland Beauties and I want to share with you guys how I do my hostess packets. I have spent a lot of time searching videos and um, taking, trying out new things on how the other ladies in this business do this because they have so many amazing ideas. So uh, one thing that I wasn't able to find was um, how to do a hostess packet and so I've spent time um, refining mine, trial and error, and I want to share it with you guys. So how I do mine is I send them a hand cream, a bath salt. Um, if I run low on those, then I might do something like a chunk and a lip balm or something like that. So two full-size products, these adorable little face mask brushes. I send them products to do a mini facial. Um, products to do a uh, mini pedicure and sometimes I'll include like the stripper in with this and then I like to sometimes I throw in more sometimes I throw in less like little hand creams other chunks um, coconut oil sunny and share things like that so that is all just for the hostess um, I also include the instructions of course for the mini pedicure instructions for the mini facial um, and leave any notes on that then I also include this little graphic I came up with. I didn't come up with the whole the wording myself, but I kind of refined one that was already on the graphics page. So it says invite, comment, tag, post, ask, and it has little instructions, um, kind of little tips next to that. So I include that in there. I also include, I do two posh papers, um, but when I talk to my hostess, I ask them if that's going to be enough. I have never had anyone say they need more because I also include the um, PDF link to the online catalog um, and then I also include the pampering your business pamphlet which I don't have right here then comes where the point where I have been refining and trying to just figure out a way to do this easier so what I used to do is I used to send two of each of my um, my little handmade hand creams. So they'd get two of each current catalog sent. That was a lot. And then they'd also get um, my little handmade chunks. So I do them um, in little mylar bags. And um, they would get a ton of those. So I was just sending a ton of um, hand creams and chunks, a ton of samples, but they weren't really getting anything else. So I've kind of refined that. And now what I do is I take a day um, I can show you guys here. I try to keep up on different portal samples. So I always try to do um, at least one face wash, um, masks, moisturizer, and then I like to do feet stuff. A lot of people like um, our foot care products. Um, I have a couple masks, <clears throat> uh, Honey Honey, I think that's the old one. So I try to keep a variety of um, different things. Then what I do is I spend a day and make like 50 of these little sample packs and all they include is first of all my business card um, this one's a little bit different than the rest but this has a honey honey my handmade one don't forget to label this is upside down and backwards but do not forget to put your information on them that's so important because if they don't use that sample right away and they come back later and find it and try it and love it they're gonna love it then they need to be able to get a hold of you, right? So um, this one has a handmade chunk sample and a handmade hand cream. So it has two products in it. Um, this one is like an enchantress and a little Hello Speedy. So all my most all my hand creams are um, handmade samples. Um, let's see what else we have. This is a Dawn on Me facial oil and a no snap. Um, you got in the the hang of it here. I have like a honey honey and a dress to chill. So I like to give them just a variety of things in there. Um, that way if the hostess wants she can mix and match them for the people and um, do what she wants. But I send five of these little sample packs and so far I haven't had anyone say that's not enough. So I put all of this stuff for my hostess. Um, I'm sure you guys have tons of these little bags right that you get in your posh boxes. So I put all the samples in here with her all of her instruction cards, her little mask brush, um, 
and her samples in there. And then what are you guys doing with all those pink on the brink um, pamphlets you have? Well, I do keep one for myself, usually one of each issue. And then I put them that in with all my five sample packs. Um, more information, right? Something for them to look at. Um, and then I send that all together. I also put in a thank you card. Um, let's see if I have one right here somewhere. Well, these aren't my thank you cards, but... I have these really cute little pink thank you cards. These I actually cut in half when I do um, like random prizes and stuff like that and use those ones for other things. But So I do my thank you notes and then I also do a handwritten letter with um, and kind of do some hostess coaching. So they see this and then they get the handwritten letter that kind of re reiterates more detailed um, hostess coaching and then I do a video so about a week before the party starts I send them a video kind of reminding them of their role and my expectations of them as a hostess in this party so that's really important you don't have to say like you need to do this this and this but you just need to um, remind them that it does take effort on their part and they will hear their friends want to hear from them because they trust them um, so and I always remind them to take lots of pictures because people love pictures. Include their kids if they can. So that's what I included in my hostess packet. Um, I hope this was helpful and I'd love to hear from you, from you if you have any ideas or questions or comments. All right, thank you.